If I give you this money and you don't pay me back, there are no rules. You understand the gravity of your situation. Can you tell me a little bit about making cards visually stimulating? Because, I mean, I guess there's not that much to work with. There's not that much no, action going right. on. No, you're right. And to me, it was always that sense of like, every time I watched a gambling movie, they always looked to speed ramp things or create a visceral high. And they did it through camera trickery rather than the actual action that was playing out. But I shot it like a Western. I shot it uh, much more about the sense of anticipation and the silences and the eye line and all of that rather than the actual physical act of violence. You, know. you got me feeling lucky. I'm putting everything on black. Red's been coming up all night. You want me to pay you now? Maybe I enjoy watching the show. 19 Red. Can you tell me a little bit about your character's relationship with Mark Wahlberg? Because I found that to be one of the most interesting things to track. You know, Jim and Neville is a classic game of cat and mouse. They're both at crossroads in their life. Yeah, it got creepy at times, you know, about the money. But at the end of the day, Neville didn't really want to hurt Jim. He wanted him to, to make it out alive. How am I gonna get my money, Jim? I look like a magician. You must have thought you was magic occasionally. Did your character change much from draft to draft? Because I was kind of always looking to read in between the lines, and I, I mean, I almost wanted to see a whole movie just based on their dynamic and what she sees in him. I mean, she was always kind of mysterious, which I liked about it, is it's more about, she's like the space. She's the stillness in the space, and he's sort of like the bull in the china shop. If you take away nothing else from my class, desiring a thing cannot make you have it. Can you tell me a little bit about working with Mark on this? It was really um, amazing and inspiring to watch him work on this film. Very, very hard worker, very focused. You know, he's been my boss for the past five years on uh, Boardwalk Empire. I've known him for many years when he was a rapper and I was a background dancer. So I really got to watch him grow and, and mature as a man and as a a professional, an actor, and as a producer. And um, to work with him on this project was a dream come true for me. You owe money two places you shouldn't. Why do you want door number three? It's the only way I'll get out. 